Nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. So I've been watching my subscriber count a lot lately and I've got about 800 now. So I just want to say thank you before you guys watch this video and to keep sharing and telling everybody and hopefully my channel will continue to grow and I'll get to do more fun things, more fun things or more things in general and show everybody what it's like here. So remember to subscribe and have fun watching the video. What's going on today guys and so it looks to me like we are going to be able to go spray. I'm over here in Illinois right now looking around. Uh, I found I found like five, six hundred acres of dry ground that's actually dry right now and then hopefully by the end of the day the rest of it will be dry but I got class at noon. It's a little, it's 1050 now and I got a 30 minute drive back at least so I'm gonna go back to go back home go to class once I get out we'll get the sprayer water trailer make sure everything's ready to go and we'll come up here I think all I gotta do is put two fittings on my sprayer then we'll be able to come up here well we're on our way up to Robinson Illinois now I gotta go around construction and stuff like that uh, construction is my least favorite thing to drive around but we're gonna do it we got my sprayer truck coming up too and my pickup is on its way too so we can leave the sprayer and the water truck up there for the night then that way tomorrow if I can only go up there and do 20 acres all I gotta do is drive it up there instead of packing up everything and driving up there so we're gonna drive up there hopefully we'll hopefully they'll be there before I will because I didn't fill up before I left the farm I was hoping they'd get there first so we just got loaded up now we're heading to the field uh, I got a little bit of a drive since I had to park my truck down here so then that way I don't have to move it later I'm the only one up here so I got I got my screen set up for this round I'm doing a half rate of what's called matador which is basically a uh, type of atrazine for beans it helps to hold down the weeds to keep them from growing until we until the crops get covered so we got a half rate of that going on and we are using Cornerstone, which is glyphosate, LI-700, surfactant, and uh, Choice, which is a surfactant, and also 2,4-D herbicide, and uh, Rifle, which is a herbicide. Uh, we got some, it's pretty weedy up here for us. I don't understand. I think last year we just didn't get to it in time, and now it's, all weeded up and overgrown so now we're gonna go try and kill them off and try to take care of them so we've been out here for a little bit now got my passes done around the field and that's about it I'm here on the end and if you look at these plants there's not a speck on them that's good though that's what we want because that means the plants absorbing the chemicals and it's gonna kill it I had a couple nozzles to fix other than that I think we're good to go this is basically like the grand tour because you can see her like the start for me at least because you can actually see what's coming out of the nozzles and where you're having issues at so my channel has started to grow quite a bit and I want to make a new shirt for the farm. Now, I've already got it designed, but I'm trying to decide when I want to start doing it. I can't do it before May 10th. The guy I'm having to do it is doing a amusement park around us, Holiday World, is doing their shirts, so i got to wait until he gets done with them before I can even order any. So that's something I'm going to do. And then I gotta make a website too and all that stuff so all of you guys everybody can buy them so this is just kind of like a little announcement on something I'm wanting to do and will probably do in the near future but I gotta get through planting season first so 
I guess we'll just have to deal with that. But anyways, I want to know your guys' opinions in the comment below on shirts. Should I do shirts, hats, should I do it all, should I do stickers, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, so if you guys got any ideas, just put them in the comments below and then tell me what your idea is on t-shirts. And then we will see how all that goes. I might end up getting some, I might not. I'll probably do some just for like me, my friends, the farm, the guys at the farm and some other people too around home. I'll get them some. But I want to know, or like right now at least, as soon as I can I will get them. But I just want to know your guys' comments, your guys' idea in the comments below on what I should get. Shirts, hats, koozies, whatever. A side note though, let's take a look at all this chemical. I'm going about 15 mile an hour today. 16, 15, 16 mile an hour today. Because it's kind of windy and I don't want to blow it all around. So we're going, we're going a little bit slower today. But yes, this does drive itself. It's got two buttons on the back here. One's for auto steer, one's for boom track. The boom track one, it just controls the boom height. So then that way it's not 10 feet up in the air. I got to sit here and the angle with these all the time. It's just automatic on the back of the stick. All I got to do is hit a button. All the steers on the back of the stick also. To disengage that, all I do is turn the steering wheel. Pretty simple and easy, today at least, or for now. Guys, what's going on YouTube? Sherrall's here, doing little anhydrous here. So we got, got our screen. Screen, I'm not very good with this. Got our screen here, flip that over. It'll, it'll tell us what, what we're doing and how much I'm putting on and stuff like that. And got our little rig, tractor. So, just a fun time up in the rig. So, well, we're getting ready to get down here to the end here. So, I'll show you what we're gonna do when we get down to the end. Over here, we got all our stuff here. So when you put it on, you gotta make sure you got your valves on, and definitely gotta make sure you got it unfolded here. So we're getting ready to turn around. So we, after that goes off, we should wait about three seconds. Raise it up. We're gonna make our turn. Sorry, I'm not very good at making videos here, as you can tell. And then we're gonna, as we turn around here, after we turn around, we hit our auto track button and we let our rig down. I roll her back up and away she goes. So that's us basically the insides and outs of our quick overview of how to put on anhydrous or NH3 if you want to get all sciencey. Well, it's like 9.30. I'm ready to head home. Uh, I gotta find out what I'm gonna do with my truck, with my semi. I'll probably back it off in the field and then tomorrow I'll come up here and I'll empty it out the rest of the way and take it home, fill it up with water and then bring it back. But yep, we're getting ready to head home for the night. This is the next day. We're back over here. Robinson again, filling up the induction tanks right now. We got all of our stuff on the trailer. Gonna put some chemical in these tanks here in a minute. Get ready to get filled up and get going. It's five o'clock, I've had some pump issues and some other normal stuff here and there. I went and got water with the truck. So hopefully we can get up, up and going and my goal is to at least be able to get near being able to be finished up here. 
It's a lot of ground to cover though in a couple hours, so we'll see what we can do. So we got the in induction tanks are now full. We're putting in low bowl four, which is 24D. Then we got put in matador, which holds down your uh, residue. We put in about 17 gallon of matador, five gallon of 24D, and then LI 700, I put in two gallon, and choice I put in five gallon. So I'm gonna do that and you guys will watch time lapse of it. And we'll get filled up. Get that going. Turn on these valves. Do the same thing over here. Step over here so you can hear me a little better. But basically what I just did was I dumped that, whenever I turn that valve, it sucks it into the tank. That, we probably sucked about 40 gallon of chemical in there. Yeah, about 40 gallon worth of chemical. And then the rest of that will be filled with water, the straight water. So that'll be another 760 gallon of water that we put into the tank. Well, we're on our way to the next farm. And as you can see, we're about out of fuel. Still got about four or five miles on this road before I can get there. I got my pickup and the semi sitting there waiting on me to get there. So hopefully I don't run out of fuel before I get there. This is not gonna be good. Well, I made it. Now I gotta sit here and wait on my pickup to get here. They are bringing it down from Robinson to Russellville, which is about a 15 minute drive, which ain't too bad. They got my semi here, but I don't have a pickup, so I gotta wait on my pickup to get here. And once I get my pickup, I'll probably head home for tonight. So I was just doing some math. I sprayed 460 acres today. It is currently 10:19. As you can see, there's all my stuff. I it's 1019 and I've been spraying since like four o'clock something like that so that's a pretty good day pretty productive day I guess and also it is now raining oh well perfect time to go through and fill all these out see I'll go through and I'll add all these up divide them subtract them all that stuff and then I will get uh, what my like li 700 I'll be able to tell oh I put two gallon on here I put four gallon on here so it'll be I can do the math on that and figure that out pretty quick all right so I'll go over what you do here so you take eight like eight ounces there so I'm putting on eight ounces to the acre and I've done 70 acres so I'll take 70 times eight and then there is a hundred and twenty eight ounces in a gallon so you divide a hundred and twenty eight from five hundred and sixty and you get four point three seven and as you see there I put four point three and that is how you know how many gallon of that certain chemical you would actually put on well we just came up to Russellville I was gonna try and spray again today but if you can see there's dribbles and dabbles on my windshield on my so yeah it's rained I guess it's time to go home then call call it quits and go rest I guess so this is gonna be it for today we're shut down it's raining don't really have much shop work that I can do so if you would please leave a comment down below leave a thumbs up and also remember to hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time thanks for watching